Today we're going to have a video on the process on properly aiming the headlights. So this is a procedure that is brought to you by the Society of Automotive Engineers. The first step that we're going to do with this is just measure out 25 feet from the wall to the headlights. What we're going to do is use this center line that you see in the floor here on the concrete. That almost lines up perfectly with my shop door. And then we just have to create a grid that tells us where the headlights need to be aimed. The front of the A-frame is basically directly over the crack and the back of the truck, the receiver hitch is also the same, right over the crack of the truck. And before we get too close to this ball, I just wanna talk about safety, right? So I already have the truck parked on a flat level surface. Yes, the plow does need to be in the air. So I put some blocks underneath there so that we don't have any kind of accidents. You know, we are dealing with a hydraulic system and it could potentially fail and that plow could drop. So we wanna eliminate any risks that we possibly have here by just using some very common safety practices. We've got our tape measure. And what we wanna do here is we're just gonna measure from the ground to the low beam of the light. Okay, and the low beams on the LEDs are gonna be these outer ones, 48 inches, okay? So we're gonna take the 48 inches and we're gonna transfer that up to the wall. So that's this horizontal line. So as you can see, this is 48 inches off the concrete. Next is gonna be our outer vertical lines. And these lines are represented from the distance between the two headlights. So we'll measure that next, just like this. We're gonna go from here to this outer one and we're right about 42 inches. So then we come back to the grid and we're gonna take 42 inches divided by two, which is 21. So from the center here, 21 inches, we wanna go 21 inches over. So that, that's how we got this dimension. So now this is our, I call this our driver side vertical line and our passenger side vertical line. All right, so do the same thing. Flip this over 21 inches from the center and we're 21 inches to the edge of the tape. When we turn the lights on, on the truck, we want to be very specific and they want to be on low beam, not high beam, low beam. When they're on low beam, driver's side, the focal point should be in this area. And the same thing applies then for this passenger side. Passenger side is going to be in this area. We want to try to keep all of the light below the horizontal line. So from here down is where the light should be. It shouldn't really be in this upper portion. Tools that we need, uh, there's gonna be two different styles of headlights. They're very similar as far as the stud mounting on the bottom. The studs, once you get those loosened up, you have the inner stud can, has a slot in there that you can move it inward or outward, and then it pivots off the one on the outer side. And then of course, there's that plate right here. That's what allows this headlight to tip. Here we have the light bar. So this is what I was referring to with the slot that's in here. So this is kind of like your pivot. And then this one allows you to, you know, take your headlight and actually tip it left to right. So that just slides in here like such. Um, I do recommend putting some never sees or something on these bolts that we then hopefully as the season goes on, you can actually adjust them. The LED version is very similar. So you've got your plate here. You got to put on when you get it out of the box. This is what allows you to have your, your pivot up and down. And same thing, once you put it in there, it's gonna give you that adjustability. So really there's not much difference here and the older version of lights is the same way. And if you go really, really old, then they just had a single stud for the ball. And that way obviously you could go up and down and left to right off of one single stud. Back over here at the plow, uh, we're gonna just loosen these up. We wanna get them loose, but we don't want them off. So that way then when we go to adjust these lights, they won't be all over the place and flopping around. So just make it so you can move it, you know, left and right, up and down, and then right to left. That one's gonna need to be just a little bit looser. There is actually a rubber washer right there too, and that actually really helps with getting that to stick, and it does work. All right, so I'm gonna turn the lights off. I'm gonna turn the headlights on the truck on, and then we're gonna start to get that lined up I'm gonna show you the good and the bad. Right about there is where we wanna be. So we're below that horizontal line. And as we get that in the right spot, we're just gonna snug it down a little bit here. Hold the light as you're doing this so that it doesn't move on the wall. And then just kind of snug it down, let go of the light. See that it's gotta come up maybe just a little bit there. 
That looks pretty good. Then just get it tightened down. The second stud. Again, just kind of keeping an eye on that light that doesn't move and you can kind of cover it up to see if it's where it needs to be. All right, let's go over to the passenger side. So same thing, we're just gonna loosen this one up a little bit. This one actually looks pretty good already, but we're gonna just take a peek at it. We can make it a little better. So we wanna be on the right side of that far right line. So you can kind of see that's where the intensity one, we want that to be. And we're gonna stay again below that horizontal line. I usually try to do the inner one first, the inner stud, just cause there's left to right and up and down movement there. Just hold the light, watch the wall, get it snug down. And as we get it snug down, we'll just do the other side. And there is a proper torque on these studs. So you wanna make sure that you're always referring back to the manual, first of all, for safety reasons, but second of all, to make sure you get the stud tightness correct. All right, now I wanna go up here on the wall and just kind of talk a little bit. So we don't wanna have a lot of light above this line, the blue line there, the horizontal line, but we do want it basically right in this box right here. So I'm gonna just tighten that up a little bit, bring it up just a hair. As you're driving down the road, we don't want it pointed right down at the road, but we also don't want to be pointing it in people's eyes either. So we're gonna just do a quick recap. First thing we did, right, was obviously getting the truck flat level surface, getting it parallel with that line, all the way to the back of the truck, measured out our 25 feet. The next step from there would be to put this vertical line on the wall. So off the crack, we just followed that line right up the wall. Then we took our measurement of the headlights, how high they were off the ground, and that will change depending upon the truck and so forth. So it's not like you can just set this up and keep it all, this, all the time. So we measured that, that was 48 inches from the ground to the bottom of this line. So we put that on the wall. And then next we had our measurement between the two headlights. That dimension was uh, 42 inches. So we took that and divided it by two. So 21 inches from the center of our blue line here to the edge of the blue tape here. This is now our driver's side vertical line. We did the same thing on the passenger side. So we measured 21 inches over. So we put this passenger side vertical line there. And again, our focal point, we want it to be right in this area for our driver light and right in this area for our passenger light. That is it. That's the way you would properly aim these headlights. Got any questions on it? Obviously always refer back to the manual, uh, but this was a pretty detailed uh, video on how to properly aim those headlights. Thanks for watching.